All right, let's take a look at the last goal. All right, let's go look at the blue. What I, I want to do this video for you guys and gals real quick because we know that the top trades in the room are off this solid blue, solid red, and solid green levels. They're very, very key levels to trade off of because that's volume profile. That takes all the volume in the market and spits out these three levels for us to buy and sell off of with trend retracements. Well, our trend filter is up. We're in a stronger position right now in, in gold. We're in a stronger position. It's angled up, so we're net buyers. I want to focus this video on real quick while she's sticking live here. We just had a nice little trade off of it a second ago. Is I want to trade, I want to focus on this blue line. What does this blue line represent? That blue line represents the total volume that's coming into that particular instrument that you're trading. Right now we're looking at gold. So how do you trade off the blue line? That's the most volume that's traded or, or what's called the control point. Now, what's neat about this control point is it's unlike a lot of market profiles. Mine, mine's a little bit different. I have a little bit different way how I look at it. I try to avoid the volume that's not necessary to get real accuracy. You can see it came right down and touched right on it. You want to trade the control point on trend days. If the market breaks outside of, uh, if you're in an uptrend and we break above the blue, you want to take the retest of the blue. So if the control point is sitting there, here's a test of the blue you can take. Here's a test of the blue, if it, you know, right here a second ago. These are two trades you can take off of it with positive market buildup. So as the market, if you look, it's ticking right now. As the market came down, it was in an uptrend. You're allowed to buy blue. You're allowed to buy the retracement. Stop right to the tick on it. That's called the control point or the most volume that's traded in the market. Now, you want to trade that way in all markets right across the board. It doesn't matter what market you trade, futures, stocks, currency. This works on all markets. All right. So that blue line represents the most volume. The only time, and the reason I want to do this video to make sure you're trading this correctly, the only time you do not want to trade this if the market is flat going sideways. You avoid the middle. Let's say that this magenta MA, right, our trend filter, because that's our trend filter. We don't care about the white as much. The magenta is angled up. Let's say it's flat as a pancake across a horizontal sideways. You want to avoid everything in the middle. Just block it out. If I'm flat, I want to sell the high, and I want to buy the low on the first and second test of it, and then I want to see it break out from it, retest of it, and try to get into a trend again. That's how chops work for 32 years of market profile. You'll see hundreds and hundreds of trades like that that happen over and over again where we're sideways, hit the high, hit the low, hit the high, hit the low, break out, go back into a trend. Remember. Typically, the market trends three days and chops two. You need to recognize when the chop is so you don't get eaten alive on trying to trade off the control point. The easiest way to do it, if that magenta MA is sideways, flat as a pancake, no spread between the moving averages, sell the high, buy the low, and try to go coast to coast. Coast to coast trade is taking LVA to HVA, HVA to LVA. But see, we're not in a flat market, are we? We're in an uptrending market. So if we're in an uptrending market, you get three chances. And I just did a video on this this week. I did two videos for you guys in previous videos that Gerald posted at daytradingthefutures.com. The two videos state this. You get three chances in an uptrend, and you get three chances in a downtrend on any market you trade. On an uptrend, you get three chances. You get a chance to buy, review this again, buy LVA. You get a chance to buy the break retest of the control that just happened. And now we're working on the third trade right now. It's got to get away from HVA. We don't sell HVA here. We want to see it break away from it. We want to see it retest it. And we'll try to get another possible setup here. And the target's all the way up at here. Big hole in the market at 61.40. So you get three shots at longs in an uptrend. Three shots at longs by LVA by break retest control, by break retest HVA. That's how we trade uptrends, all right? That's how we trade uptrends. But the control, the main video reason I'm doing this video is this control point. That's the most volume that's traded. Take all the volume coming in. A lot of this, uh, this volume that comes in these markets are algorithm based, high frequency trading based. It's not the floor traders anymore. They don't have the pull on us. So 
what this does, it leaves a footprint for you and I to trade off of. That blue line is a footprint of where support and resistance will be. This red line is a footprint of where resistance is going to be. This green line is a footprint of where support is going to be. So the big, thick lines are the most important lines you want to trade off of on any market. If my solid, small little dots overlap within a couple ticks, like down here, look at this confluence. See how my price profile, it's been around since 1985, see these little dots? See how that overlaps my volume profile? If that happens, you have a solid place to buy on a retracement. So if it comes down to 49 today, if we take a big step down, and this has to be the high to take down, you're probably going to see a big bounce right there because it's in an uptrend. That's what you'd see, a B bottom. Okay? So that's what we look for in uptrend.